Listen to me carefully. There are so many of these elephant bars. Oliver told me they happen 70% more of the time than all other bars. There's too many. Which ones do I play? Now you know. The ones that occur in two freaking locations. You forget all the other ones. Yeah, they're elephant bars, and yeah, they may go down. Yeah, they might deliver, but why not just limit ourselves to the creme de la creme? If we don't ensure that our house, the houses that we go into, the bare elephant bars we go into, are not in the right location, then the bare elephant bar's value drops. The house's value drops if it's not in the right location. And so this actually makes the location more valuable than the house. The neighborhood is more valuable than the house. You understand? The location is more valuable than the bare elephant bar. And that's why location matters. Location is the most important step of all the steps. So let's get back to it, okay? Take notes. This is going to change your life. Take notes. Okay. Know, you, know what locations to play. Now, there are seven locations. I can't teach you all seven, guys. All right? I do this for my traders, but I can't teach you all seven. But I am going to give you the two best. So that's cool. Can't give you all of them. But I'm going to give you the two best for bear elephant bars in a bear market. Location number one. Now, before we, I even show you what location number one is, I have to talk very briefly about the things that we judge location by. We judge location by two moving averages, which you see depicted on this slide here. There's the 20 period simple moving average and the 200 period simple moving average. Now remember, I am suggesting that you do this on a two minute chart. You can do this on any time frame. It works. But I'm suggesting that you predominantly do this on a two minute chart because we're talking about short term oriented gains in terms of making a living in the markets, not the bigger your time frame, the longer your plays and the longer they are, the less likely you're able to use them for making a living. All right. So two minute time frame, right? That means the 20 period moving average is averaging the closing prices, the last 20 closing prices of the last 20 two minute bars. So if you look at this moving average, it's evening out the last 20 two minute bars. This moving average is smoothing out the data of the last 200 two minute bars. Now, when we see these, when we put these two moving averages on our two minute chart, right? Sometimes they will be relatively close together like this. And sometimes they will be relatively far away from each other like that, all right? Okay, the best scenario is when they're not so far away in some cases. In, in the cases, in the case of what, for what we're talking about, it's, it's best if they're not so wide apart all the time. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna take these two moving averages. And we're also going to take the stock itself. So let's just say the stock is doing this right now. Right? So there are three items. Let's look at the three items we're going to use to judge location. Item number one is the 20. Item number two is the 200. Item number three is the actual stock itself. Now, if I take all three items and draw a box around them, watch this. I'm going to draw a box around all three items. I'm going to make sure I get all of them in the box. So right there. So I got all of them in the box, right? Now, this box serves 
as my location item. So I'm your stock is either above the box or below the box. I should do that different colors. So your stock can be above the box or below the box, generally speaking. All right. That's how we judge location. We grab the 20 period moving average. We grab the 200 period moving average. We grab the stock. We draw a box around those three items. Now, is my bear elephant bar above the box? Is the bear elephant bar below the box? That's all we need to know. Now, let's move forward. All right, hope you got that. Let's move forward. This is very, very powerful. Guys, you will not, listen to me. You will not find this in a course, in a seminar, at an exposition, at some trading event. You will not find this in a trading magazine. You will not find this on YouTube. Guys, I have been doing this for 40 plus years, if you count the idiot years. If you count the professional years, it's 36, 37. But including the idiot years, it's 40 plus years. There is very few people with that experience. So listen, what, I'm, what I teach you does not come from me taking a course from someone. There were no others when I started. What I teach you does not come from a book I read, does not come from a seminar I took, does not come from a magazine article, does not come from some trading show I went to. This, what I'm teaching you, does not come from watching people's vi YouTube videos. What I teach you comes from my own experience trading the markets every single day of my life for the last four decades. Do you understand this? This is not second-hand, third-hand, regurgitated information I got from someone else and, and repackaged it and tied it with a little bow and presenting it to you. This is pure, direct from the heart, pure, direct from my own experience. And if you see anyone sim with similar things being presented to you, know that they were mine. I'm one of the first educators in this space, 1994. Go look back. Go look back. 1994, 1986 in the markets professionally. 1994 became one of Wall Street's top instructors of traders, traders. 1994, how many people on YouTube were training traders professionally in 1994? How many people have even lived through a bear market? This is my ninth bear market in my career. 90% of the people have no experience with a bear market. This is my ninth one in my whole career. And I'm telling you, what I am teaching you today, you will, you're going to love bear markets. You're going to pray for bear markets. When a bull market's come, you're going to be like, no, I don't want to give up this 82% follow through rate. I don't want to give up this 70% occurrence, occurrence rate. I don't want the bull. No. That's how you're going to be. I'm telling you, you're gonna, you, you, you'll see. I digress. Let's get back. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. I know I'm crazy. All right. So we know how to grab locations by grab. We know how to base our location by grabbing the three items and drawing a box around them, right? So. Let's look at the location. Location number one is this one. Boom! My God, it makes me salivate right now. Let me grab a nap. It makes me salivate right now. Oh my God. Guys, if you get a bare elephant bar right under both of the moving averages, I'm not talking about down here, guys. Look. Look, it's different down here. I'm not talking about down here, you see, where there's that separation, you see. I'm talking about relatively close to the bottom of both moving. Oh, my goodness. This is the juiciest. This is the best. 
This is your highest, this is your highest probability play. You can't beat this, you can't beat this in any other scenario. This is, that's why it's number one. Now remember, you know how to enter this. I taught you already. You're going to you know how to enter this already. Anticipation or confirmation. Boom. You see this bar. Now remember, guys, first, let me do this for you. Let me, sh let, let me show you this. This is going to be cool. Let me do this for you. So first, right, you're not going to have all of this. It's going to start with a, it's going to actually start with a dash like that. You see? It's going to start with a dash. And you're going to be like, oh, whoa, it's starting in a great location. If this grows some red, oh my goodness. And then it's going to do this. You're going to see, oh my God, a little bit of red is forming. If this keeps going, I'm in. And you're going to be like this. Let me just, let me do this here. Let me do this. Got to do it like that. So you're going to do like this. You're going to be like, okay. Then you're going to be like, oh, 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 oh. You're going to be like, so, I'm telling you guys, you're going to be, you're going to, some of you are going to start hyperventilating. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a red bar in the best position. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Let me get ready. Saliva is going to start dripping down the corners of your mouth, all on the keyboard, all on your hands. And I'm telling you, <laughs> the rule I tell my traders, if saliva, if you're, if you're a saliva trader, because some traders do, they start salivating when a play, don't wipe until you get the play. You get the play and then you wipe. That is actually, that should be step number five, step number five, right? Don't wipe. Get in and then wipe because you might miss it. <laughs> I know, I know I'm crazy. All right, good. So look, check this out. So we've got the red coming. You're getting ready. You're watching. Okay, it's a minute, 15 seconds, a minute, 20 seconds. And boom. You see, that minute 30 second mark, you're putting your money into this bar right there. Boom. Well, remember your protection. You're protecting yourself right there. Boom. That's your protection. Now you want the 82% follow through to take over. All right. If you miss this one, you're going to get the confirmation on the next one right under the low. Boom. All right. Good job. That's it. This is your best. Guys, this is your longest green. This is where your highest consistency rate is going to come from in this bear market. This is where the biggest amount of money is going to come from in this bear market. Your consistency comes from this location. Your money, come, the biggest money comes from this location. That's why it's number one. Now, location number two is actually above the box, above the moving averages in the stock. But it's decently above. It's not above here. See? That's different. It's close to the box, right? Remember, this is your box, right? You want it a distance from the box so that it has room to fall to the box. Take a note of that. If it's too close to the box, the odds are different. It still might work because we're in a bear market and bear elephant bars work in a bear market. But the ones that work the best are away from the box. They, they have room to fall to the box. All right, so position number two, here's your box, is above the box with a decent ample space between the stock and the box and the top of the box. Now, remember, you know how to enter once you see this. Now, remember this, you're going to see initially, right? 
initially you're going to see this this is this hasn't happened you're going to see this initially you say whoa here's my stock this stock just opened above the box and you're going to say in, to your to yourself if this starts producing red i'm all over it like like i'm all over this like white on rice do you understand and then you'll see a little bit more boom you're watching this red grow and you're like boom that's all i need one minute 30 seconds solid red boom there's your entry anticipation about one minute 30 seconds into this bar it hasn't finished trading if you miss it you're going to grab the confirmation entry one penny below the low and you're going to wait you're going to oh i forget you're going to protect yourself don't forget that protect yourself one penny above the elephant bar and you're going to wait for the 82 percent statistic to take care of you <laughs> That's it. Your two locations. Take a look. Take a look. La, 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 la. Your two locations. Wow. Take a snapshot. Do it now. Take a snapshot. Share this. Share this with your family. Share this with your friends. Share this with everyone. This is the money shot right here, traders. What we've got, right? is you've got the number one bar that delivers the most consistently out of every single bar the market can ever throw at you. The market only has a limited number of bars to throw at you. But in a bear market, there's only one that really has the best statistics. The best statistics to follow through, the best statistics in terms of the, how often they occur and this bar is the biggest money maker in the bear market we also know how to when and where to throw our money into that bar you guys we got to throw our money into that bar we know okay once my money is in i gotta protect myself I'm not giving up all my money to the market if I'm wrong. I'm only giving it up to here. All right? And then, but there are so many of these. Listen to me carefully. There are so many of these elephant bars. Oliver told me they happen 70% more of the time than all other bars. There's too many. Which ones do I play? Now you know. The ones that occur in two freaking locations. You forget all the other ones. Yeah, they're elephant bars, and yeah, they may go down. Yeah, they might deliver, but why not just limit ourselves to the creme de la creme? The creme de la creme. Why not? Why second best? This is what I'm telling traders all the time. Dude, why are we focusing on the third best? I want the best. I want, I, this is a life philosophy for me, right? I got two choices. It's easy. Which one's the best? All right, give me that one. All right, Oliver, here's two cars. All right, which one? Which is the best? Okay, that one. Two houses. All right, well, which is the best? Who's got the best neighborhood? That one choice is simple for me i want the best you know people come to restaurants all the time uh you know so we've got like four desserts for this evening if it's one of my cheat days right four desserts uh, all right which one's the best oh well they're all good no they all might be good and uh, that's not what which dessert is the best you tell me what's the best one 
it's this one. All right, that's the one I want. All right. So instead of focusing on all the elephant bars that form all over the place, we're going to focus on the elephant bars that form in two locations because those are the best locations. It's simple. This is not rocket science, guys. It's not rocket science. <laughs> All right. Now, I want, do I have time for this? I'm already past my time. But should I? I want to give you something. But I mean, just not have time. Shoot. Let me know if I should do this. Because I don't, some of you may have to go. So I'm not going to give it to you if you have to go. Just let me know. Should I, should I give it to you? It's one thing I want to explain to you that will add, I think, some extra value. So you let me know. Because we do have to look at, I want to show you real examples here, guys. I'm going to show you real examples. All right. You want, you want to see it? Okay. You sure you can stay? Because what I hate is when I go overtime and half of the people leave. I hate that. All right. So if you're going to stay, I'll do it. All right. All right. Check this out. I'll do it. I just want to quickly explain to you, traders, why position two, right, works so well as well, as well, right? Um, especially off the open. So guys, I want you to imagine that your stock was doing this. And then all of a sudden, this morning, it gaps up here. So in one fell swoop, it gaps up above your box. You understand? It gaps up way above your box. If you were a trader that owned the stock here, this is you right there. I'm going to draw you right there. And you said, I'm going to hold this stock into tomorrow. And all of a sudden, tomorrow morning, it instantly gives you an instant gain of $10,000 on the gap. You just went $10,000 gain on the gap. Instantly, the moment this starts going from 10 to 9.8 thousand, guess what this little guy is going to do? Sell to protect the gain. Guess what this guy's going to do? And this one. And this one from yesterday. And this guy. And this guy. And all of these guys. Guess what they're going to do on the gap? They're going to sell, 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 sell sell. They have an instantaneous gain in a bear market on the upside. Now, guess what I'm going to do and you are going to do? We are going to come in and help them. Boom. That's OV. That's me. This is you. You're going to come in and you're going to sell too. Boom. Anybody you have shared this with is going to do it the same. Boom. And so you've got two groups of traders pounding on this stock. The traders from yesterday, boom. The traders from today that know the odds are 82% down. And that's what creates the reliability of this dropping in a bear market. Gaps to the upside are sold into heavily by traders from yesterday. They're also sold into heavily by traders like me and my traders whom I taught this to. It's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy.